Can magic mushrooms treat depression? If they can, then how long do the effects last? Is there any downsides to using psychedelics, even in a clinical setting? Psychology seeks to answer these questions and more, and it all starts right now. Published on November 3rd, 2022, Guy Fieri, nah, nah, I'm just playing. Guy Goodwin from Oxford University, alongside his colleagues, conducted research involving the use of psilocybin to see if it could treat people who are not only diagnosed with major depressive disorder, but have also been shown to be treatment resistant. There were 233 participants in the study, with the average age being 39.8 years old, and this research actually took place across 10 different countries from March of 2019 until September of 2021. Participants completed a baseline depression measure and then were randomly assigned to one of three groups. The three groups were the 1 milligram group, the 10 milligram group, and the 25 milligram group. And during their drug trip, participants listened to music chosen by the researchers, they were given an eye mask to cover their eyes, and of course they were professionally monitored for safety precautions. Participants completed depression measures at the three week mark and the 12 week mark. The depression ratings of the participants before being administered psilocybin was a rating of either 32 or 33 in each of the three groups. While there was no significant difference in the depression ratings between the 10 milligram group and the 1 milligram group, the 25 milligram group showed a decrease in depression ratings by 12 points, meaning participants reported experiencing less depression three weeks after just a single dose of psilocybin. Unfortunately, there were no significant results found at the 12 week follow up mark. But this shouldn't be discouraging. 25 milligrams of psilocybin isn't that much at all. Such a small dosage having such a positive effect over a three week time span provides hope and possibility that psilocybin may be used as a common treatment for depression in the near future. We may soon be able to be in a world where taking a dosage of psilocybin maybe once or twice a year similar to a flu shot is all we really need to lessen the effects of depression. While it does provide a hopeful future, this research did have some bumps in the road. First of all, despite the research being across 10 different countries, 92% of participants were white. Also, adverse events such as headaches, nausea, or dizziness occurred in 179 of the 233 participants, and the adverse events seem more or less proportional with the dosage of psilocybin. Let me know what you thought of this study in the comments below. As always, the APA citation as well as the link to the original researchers in the description, and I'll see you tomorrow.